Hi, this is John Lockwood for John Next Door, and this instructional video is to show you how to use the Foston die, which is one of my new flip and sort of fold cards. So just to explain the die, this is the piece that you will receive. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six dies in it. You've got the two decorative inserts for the panels. You've got the decorative insert for the center. You have an outside line for the hexagon. You have this, which is a protector piece or a piece that actually may, goes in the middle to help strengthen it. And then you have this piece, which I'm gonna pull the rest of the set out. Pull a piece of white card in, which actually is the base of the card. So making sure that you've got the cut line down, I'm just going to pop this down onto a piece of, um, of white card. I'm using Crafts 2 white linen card. Just tape it down and I'm going to run that through the machine. So whilst I run that through, I'm just going to explain about the die. The best thing to do with the die, if I bring it back in, is you have these decorative pieces. You don't want to cut those at the same time as cutting the main die unless you've got a very good machine and you like pricking things out. It's far easier to get a cleaner cut once you've got the main piece cut. So, if I take this out, push that away, and here we go, you've got the main piece. So it just falls out of the die cut, and I'll pop that to one side for the minute. And as you can see, what it's done, it's cut the outside square, it's cut in boss lines here that follow the hexagon and the fold, and it's cut here for the hexagon. So all we do to make the basic card, is turn it over onto its front and fold down. You don't need any tools or anything. The die has strong enough lines to give you a flip card just like this. If you want to add a decorative panel, choose one of the decorative panels, and I'm going to choose the lattice. And you want to pop that in at the base leaving the space there for the fold, but you can see that it's designed so that you don't want to go that high. You'll cut into your hexagon. So we're just gonna pop that into place and that will cut that pattern, that lattice pattern all the way in. So just going to tape that down just to be secure. And while that's going through, I'm gonna pop that onto my plate. I'm just gonna take a scrap of the card left from the previous cut and I'm going to cut a decorative top. So I'm going to use the lattice and the hexagon. I'm gonna put these together using my long piece of tape trick. So take a long piece of tape, sort of attach it to your finger so you've got two handles and pick up the die. Place the next die that you want down, holding between the two fingers, allows you to move that die around until you're happy it's centered. Once you're happy, you can then pop that down on a piece of card and we'll cut that as well. So I'll just run that through the machine. Now, the die is designed so that you can use the lattice on one side or the other side, or you can use this floral design, which matches exactly with my swirl leaves. And you've even got an individual version of the flower that's in the center of that design, should you want to add a flower or add a few flowers on. So this is now cut, and if we can see, let that escape the machine slightly, I peel it out from the front, then I've got all the pieces cut, we'll give that a quick flick. So rather than spending hours, can you see here, this is a great example. Here, I've not put it in the machine right and it's missed a line. So I'm just going to take out all the bits that are loose. So take out any loose pieces quickly and easily, clear my desk down. And what I can do is take the panel and drop it back in. So we drop the panel back in and it clicks into place. Make sure it's well taped, especially in any area that you've missed. And I'm just gonna run that back through my machine. Just clean my plates down. If you leave any pieces on your plate when you're die cutting, 
what actually happens is they will mark the card. And I don't want the card marked. I'm going to run it on the side so that I get a really good cut, get those pieces off my plate. We'll run that through the machine. While that's running through, I'll show you the lattice hexagon, which again, just take the last bits out. So there I've got my lattice hexagon. And if you notice, it's got a design that goes in one, two, three directions. So you can choose which way to use it. We'll take my die back out. Okay. All done and clean. So we would just fold that. I can then place and glue that on top. And that's my basic. Obviously, I can then take other colours of card and slide them in, cut a piece to size to fit behind, use the plain hexagon to mount that, and add your flowers, your sentiment, whatever you want. But that's the basics of how this die works. I hope that works for you. For more inspiration, visit my blog, which is www.johnnextdoor.blogspot.com. Enjoy.